Welcome back. Now in this class, uh, sorry, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to get students registered on an online classroom uh, on this uh, software in Google Classroom. Now, as you can see, so far we've not done anything. You know, we created a classroom, we've got the name. Yes, we haven't got any resources yet. We'll be talking about that in a later video. Uh, but if I go to the people section here at the top, you'll see that there's actually no one here. Um, of course, you've got yourself and you can actually add, uh, uh, add or invite other teachers on here as well. But you can see there's no students at all. Now, um, the easiest way to get them on is to get them to type a code that's provided here um, when they log on to Google Classroom. So what I typically do is in my lessons is I click on this button here. It shows the code on the screen. So I put it on my inter interactive whiteboard. While they log on and go to Google Classroom, like I showed uh, yourselves on the first video of this uh, guide of the series, um, so they go here, you know, they sign up, uh, they, they log on to Google uh, Mail first, their Gmail using the school's Gmail accounts that's uh, been provided to them. And then they go on to Google Classroom. Now, obvious, obviously, for them, it's going to look slightly different for, from how we have it, um, purely because if you've been using this for a while, you're going to have all your lessons on here like I do. For them, if it's the first time, they'll see a completely blank screen or they may have one or two classes that they are already registered to. But all they got to do is once they are on Google Classroom, as uh, I am here right now, they click on the plus sign. But instead of creating, they click join. So when they do that, they'll be then prompted with a window here that says enter class code and you will obviously have this class code on the screen. So they basically type it in as it is because it's case sensitive. So if there's no capital letters, they do not enter capital letters. If it's um, you know lowercase, then they type it in lowercase and so on and so forth. So they type it exactly as it is onto here with no spaces before and after, and then they click join. And that will just take them straight onto your class. Once they do that, uh, you should then hopefully see them in the people section here as a list and it should match whatever you have on your register. Now what's good about this is if they have if they're logging on using their Google Mail in the background, then their name should come up automatically. There, there won't be any faffing around with people writing in nicknames and little uh, codes or whatever it is that will you know make it difficult for you to find and identify and mark work later on. Uh, so which is great. Um, another way to add students is Simply copy this and email it, put it on a PowerPoint if you want to. Uh, as long as they have the code, that's the unique identifier to the classroom that you want them to go on to. But they have to type the same code that you have on this uh, once they go on to classroom and once they clicked on plus. So once that's done, they should be on there. I always do uh, the steps on st uh, video two before this purely because then there's no chance of someone typing anything random on this here because it is because it, it is set up to be um, similar to how uh, something like um, Facebook is you know, any social media sites where they can actually uh, write and speak to each other because it's an online forum but as I said if you st follow the steps on video two before doing this then you shouldn't have that issue